moments at the uh, on the floor in grief, there's a joke. Um, and so I think it's I, I try to write about life, and to me, life is through the lens of comedy, despite what I what I set out to do by contract with Knopf, you know, very serious publisher. Um, I wore a this blazer um, to be a theater, um, and uh, but yet, you know, you can't help but. You can't help but be funny um, when you're when you're trying to be honest. Um, so that's that, that's the end. It's a great blazer. So thank you so much. Thank you. It's all about the blazer. I actually, tell Bess that I I keep her book in my bathroom, which I consider she's like in the prime reading spot, <laughs> and I like to I try to time the the uh, chapters in my books for a good bathroom visit. It, it, it's the best place to read. It's like, it's a spot of honor, and everyone who comes to my house says, oh, best Kel's book is fantastic. I, I would say, don't go on Goodreads. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about Goodreads. So, you know, it's a really interesting question, Zibby, and I was talking about this in my comedy workshop. So I thought, actually, our panel was writing through grief. <laughs> Because I think the more serious the topics, the, the greater the opportunity for humor. Um, and this is what, I've, what I always do in my books. In my book, um, Wherever You Go, There They Are, about family. I wrote that at a time when we were moving my parents into a senior living home, and they adjusted so poorly, I rented the apartment next to them and became a part-time resident of the Miami Jewish home, where I took chair exercise class and was strangely competitive with stroke victims. And, you know, I mean, this was, this, you can't, this, you know, everything, nothing starts 